This question belongs to algorithm subject and was asked in CAT CSE 2014 set 2. So the question states, suppose a stack implementation supports an instruction reverse, which reverses the order of elements on the stack in addition to push and pop instructions. Which one of the following statement is true with respect to this modified stack? So how we have our stack? So stack is our last in first out data structure. Last in first out. So elements will be suppose like 10, 20, 15, 18 and 17. These are the elements. So if we pop, if we push 19, then 19 will be pushed on top. And if we pop, then pop up, topmost item will be removed. Now if we again pop, 17 will be removed. Now we have a reverse function. So reverse function will reverse all the elements. So it will give us 10, 20, 15 and 18. So this is our given operations on the stack. Now it is saying which of the following statement is true with respect to this stack. A queue cannot be implemented using this stack. A queue can be implemented where NQ takes a single instruction and DQ takes a sequence of two instruction. A queue can be implemented where NQ takes a sequence of three instruction and DQ takes a single instruction. A queue can be implemented where NQ and DQ take a single instruction each. Okay. So what is a queue? A queue data structure is a first in first out. So if we have NQ of 1, we will push 1. NQ of 2 will push 2. NQ of 3 will push 3. NQ of 4 will push 4. Now DQ will remove 1. Another DQ will remove 2. So it is a first in first out data structure. Now suppose that we need to perform the following operations. We for a queue. So we need to NQ 1. Then we need to do NQ 2. We need to do NQ3. Now we need to do a DQ. So DQ will remove our 1. So we will have NQ1, NQ2, NQ3. DQ will remove 1. Now again we need to do DQ. DQ will remove 1. Now we will have NQ5. So 5 will come over here. And we will again have a DQ. DQ will remove 3. So we need to see whether this stack can be used to implement this Q or not. Yes, we can use this stack. How? See. For DQ, we will perform the pop. Okay, but for NQ, let us suppose we need to do NQX. Then what we will do? First we will do reverse. Then we will do push X. Then again we will do reverse. Now let me simulate this for you. So first we have NQ of 1. So what we need to do? We need to do reverse. So stack is empty. Then we need to push 1. And then again we need to reverse. So it will be the same item. Now NQ of 2. So first reverse. One reverse is one only. Then push our item. Then again reverse. So reversing 1 and 2 will give us 2 and 1. Okay. Now NQ 3. So first we will do reverse. It will give us 1 and 2. We will push our item 3. And then again we will do reverse. So we will get 3, 2, 1. So see what we are doing. Each time we are trying to make sure that we are having the Q type data structure by using reverse and again reversing it after pushing. So now if we do DQ, then DQ is equals to pop. So we will pop 1. Now again DQ, DQ means pop. So we will pop 2. So correct items are being popped. 1 get popped over here and 2 get popped over here. Now we have NQ of 5. So we will do reverse, then we will push. And then again we will reverse. Now this is done. Now DQ equivalent to pop will remove our item 3. So this is being done perfectly by using these operations. So DQ is one operation and NQ is three operation. So correct answer is option C. A Q can be implemented where NQ takes a sequence of three instruction and DQ takes a single instruction. So correct answer is option C.